Hi, my name is Alexander Bergenal and I am the CEO and Game Director at Poppermost Productions. In this video, I'm going to show off some of the new features from our latest update. As you'll immediately see when you start the game, we have completely redesigned the main menu. We now use a tile format for quick and easy navigation on both the keyboard and gamepad. As there are still many features missing from the game, some tiles have been deactivated for now. We have also implemented an options menu with several visual and gameplay options such as the ability to disable the in-game HUD. The store has also been completely redesigned for much faster and intuitive experience. It's now much quicker to view items and cycle through colorways. You can also cycle between two ways of filtering items, by brand and by type. We've also added many more items to the store to customize your character with, many of which you can see here. Once you're in-game, you'll immediately notice that we've removed the mountain map from the spawn mechanic. The mountain map was not dynamic enough for our needs, so we decided to replace it with a spawn camera system. Now you can see a live view from all the spawn points on the mountain, including many that weren't on the original North Face mountain map. This feature is not complete, however, as we intend to complement the on-mountain cameras with an orbit camera that sits at a distance. The in-game UI has also been partially redesigned to be more minimal. We really want the users to focus on the gameplay and environment rather than UI. We've also taken some community feedback and added a speedometer to the bottom right-hand corner of the UI. Session markers have been implemented in the game. By pressing T or right on the D-pad, you can place a marker at your current position. Then, when you've crashed or want to respawn, you'll be able to access the spawn point through the spawn menu. Keep in mind that you can only have three markers placed at any given time. Finally, we have completely reworked the in-air rotation system to include pre-loading rotations. When holding down Ollie, you can hold a rotation direction to get a faster rotation once in the air. Right now, there is no visual cue to show you that you've preloaded a spin, but we hope to have an animation implemented soon. For those of you that like playing with variables, we have made sure to keep these exposed so that you can fine-tune the speeds. As always, we look forward to hearing your thoughts and feedback on the Snow Forum. Thanks for watching.